Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and I wanted to talk to you about CAT scan radiation and cancer risk. Uh, this recently came up with a patient of mine in the ER who needed a CAT scan, and the ER doctor told her she would have a 1 in 400 chance of dying from cancer from that one CT scan. So I, I knew there was a cancer risk. It's very small. I went ahead and looked up some information on it. Almost all of the information is based on the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs that were dropped in World War II in Japan. Uh, those that did not die from the actual blast or fires or immediately thereafter were followed for cancer risk. Those people, depending on how close they were to the actual blast, received anywhere from two millisieverts up to three sieverts of radiation. So a millisievert is a measure of radiation. A CAT scan is anywhere from 2 and 10 millisieverts. Um, a typical chest x-ray is 0 0.1 millisievert. So 10 chest x-rays would be 1 millisievert. A mammogram is 0 0.4 millisieverts. We think if you have 10 millisieverts, that increases your cancer risk. So uh, these survivors had 2 millisieverts up to 3 sieverts, which would be 3,000 millisieverts of radiation, so a massive dose compared to what CT scan is. The information that they derived from that in the small number, about 120,000, was that a 10 millisievert dose of radiation increased your cancer risks by 0.05, so 1 in 2,000 cancers from 10 millisieverts of radiation. So in general, the American population has a 1 in 5 chance of developing and dying from cancer, so that would be 400 out of 2,000 people uh, will normally get cancer and die from it as their cause of death. So one additional person or 401 would get uh, cancer. So that's where that doctor came up with the 1 in 400, which is actually 1 in 2,000 or 401 compared to 400. Statistics are great. You can do with, them, do with them what you'd like. So a typical CAT scan is between 2 and 10 millisieverts. A CT of the chest for blood clot is about 7. That's a higher dose. We've known this for quite a while. A lot of the published information on how many millisieverts of radiation are in CAT scans is actually much lower because we are developing newer CAT scan machines and developing techniques that greatly decrease the amount of radiation. So 7 is probably on the high end. If you look at the natural exposure to radiation, we receive about 2 millisieverts of radiation every year from just the environment. So gamma radiation, alpha radiation, cosmic radiation from the sun, um, we get 2 millisieverts a year. So every 3 to 3.5 three years, we receive a CT of the chest worth of radiation just from being on the planet Earth. So um, you have to weigh the risks and benefits. In this particular case, the risk was a unidentified blood clot in the lung that she could actually die from. So the benefit of ruling this out greatly outweighed a 1 in 2,000 risk of cancer. We have to be careful, though, because when we order a chest x-ray and you've got maybe a spot, uh, the radiologist recommends a CT scan for follow-up, and then we order a CT scan, and they say a uh, 5 millimeter lesion that's indeterminate and recommend repeat CAT scan in three months, and then you have your follow-up CAT scan, and they say recommend CAT scan in six months, and before you know it, you've had three CT scans in a year. So it's a legitimate question to ask your doctor, do I actually need a CT scan, what would be the risk if I didn't have the CT scan, what are you trying to find from the CT scan, is MRI an option, there are many things that we can do with MRI um, that would give us useful information, not the same as a CT, but at least useful information and zero radiation. So again, overall, but about 10 millisieverts of radiation probably increases your cancer risks by 1 in 2,000. 400 people in 2,000 are going to get cancer and die anyways as their cause of death without CAT scan radiation, so it's an additional one person um, out of 2,000 or 401 instead of 400. So it is a relatively low risk, but it is a question that is reasonable to ask.
Dr. Castello, thank you.